Hi, my name is Kevin Leach, and I'm the founding director at Inquality, which is the company behind IPDTL. Wonderful. Well, what exactly is IPDTL? I know that might be a loaded question, but... <laughs> If you'd asked me a few years ago, I would tell you that it's uh, a platform for connecting between uh, your location and a remote location, which in the voiceover world is uh, for the directed sessions um, is, is one of the things it's, it's useful for. So if you're somewhere different to the producer who's recording you um, uh, and has perhaps booked you or from the client, then they can listen in. Uh, to your performance and they can give you real-time direction that's that's what it was um, it still is that but now we keep adding more and more functionality to it so it's now uh, a means of being able to automatically bridge from your computer to an ISDN line so essentially you can call an ISDN line or receive an ISDN call through your computer without needing an ISDN line um, and it, it but it's more than that it's it's a little production studio in your web browser now because you can also um, as we're doing now, you can record the audio uh, from each end of the conversation uh, or, the, you know, you can record uh, each voice, the voice talent and if necessary, if, if, yeah, if necessary, the director or producer um, and that all gets recorded in the web browser. Wonderful. Um, so what... What does IPDTL stand for exactly? I know that that I just thought of that right now. But um, what does yeah. it stand for? <laughs> no, it's 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 <laughs> a good question because a lot of people don't know. Uh, IP is probably the easy bit because people uh, have heard of. IP technology, which stands for Internet Protocol, uh, essentially anything that happens on the Internet or across the Internet is utilizing IP technology. Uh, you may have heard of voice over IP, uh, VoIP, mm -hmm. uh, VOIP, which is um, the, it, it essentially it's a telephone call uh, across the Internet. Uh, well, IP DTL, DTL is down the line. Um, as in, I am talking to you down the line. As it happens, it's a virtual line across the internet. So uh, put it all together and you've got internet protocol down the line. If you, if you split it up like that, it makes a bit more sense. There we go. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, so where did you get the idea for uh, IPDTL and have you always kind of been interested in broadcast? Yeah, it's it's been my my professional life so far, I, if you like. I've always worked uh, in the broadcast industry. Or, I mean, I started out as a as a disc jockey, um, <laughs> working on commercial radio and uh, at live events, at weddings and things. Uh, drifted into broadcast. Uh, spent a lot of time working for the BBC as both a small time host, but also um, more and more as a sound engineer or board operator. Um, and uh, and yeah, I've I've kind of drifted more and more towards the technical side of things over the years, uh, and that's how I came up with the concept for IPDTL, really, because there was a this big gap in the market for this type of product, which would allow you to connect from one location back to your studio, so that, for instance, you could do a remote broadcast or um, a... Uh, a host could present their show from home, for instance, or mm -hmm. uh, any any similar scenario. Awesome. Okay. And so what, I guess you kind of answered this earlier, but what kind of makes IPDTL stand out um, over other means to connect and kind of what benefits would this have for our VO talent? <laughs> Our USP, our unique selling point, is the ability to dial an ISDN line from your computer, from, from your web browser, w without having an ISDN line. Um, and it's, um, it's, it's a fairly transparent, seamless operation. You put the number in, into your browser, and it, it makes that ISDN call. So, so that's really what makes IBDTL unlike uh, any other similar product such as Source Connect, but also it's it's the combination of tools in one hopefully user-friendly, uh, simple-to-use interface. Okay, and so that kind of leads me to my next question. So how easy is it to connect to a studio, and does that studio have to have IPDTL as well, or are you able to just, like, if they wanted to connect to you, um, would they have to have IPDTL to connect into your ISDN connection? I'm not sure. I, I know that kind of is a confusing question, but um, is it how easy yeah. is it to connect to the studio, I guess? 
it's um, it's a couple of clicks. The main difficult part of using IPDTL is getting it set up and learning how the controls work to start with once you've got yourself set up and you're familiar with the operation and you've saved yourself some dialing shortcuts, then it really is simple, uh, as simple as a click. Uh, you log into IPDTL, you click the shortcut to which you want to connect and and you uh, the, the call or the connection is established. Now that connection could be an ISDN connection and they don't need to have IPDTL as far as they're concerned. The remote user okay. is just, uh, it, it appears as an ISDN call to them um, or indeed they're making an ISDN call in the same way that they, they have done. So it, yeah, to them it, looks, it, can, it can look like an ISDN call. However, if they don't have an ISDN line but they do have a computer with the Google Chrome web browser on it, then they can use that to connect with you. We have a feature called Link Plus. Now, Link Plus is a guest login page, so you can send your own unique dedicated link to the client who wants to connect with you. They go to that web page in their web browser, you see their name appear, and you just click their name to connect with them. Um, now, that could be a client listening in a coffee shop on Wi-Fi uh, with just a, a pair of headphones, or it could be a full-blown studio that has a computer running IPDTL. Um, okay. uh, you can also, if a studio has their own IPDTL account, then you don't need that Link Plus feature. You can just connect through to their IPDTL login ID if they link their account to yours. So there are many different ways, really, to, to answer your question, but uh, all really within a simple click or by dialing in a simple number. And if somebody doesn't have any of the above, even a, a computer that's that's fit for purpose, then you can simply call their landline or their cell phone and use IPDTL for a, an old style phone patch. You dial their number, they answer the phone, and then they can listen into you and give you direction over their phone. Okay, well, that's awesome. Um, so, for the Wi-Fi part, I mean, do you have any recommendation for a type of Wi-Fi or like a special internet setting or anything that would give a best quality recording or the best quality connection? I'm not sure if there's any thing that yeah. would help. We do, and it's actually not to use Wi-Fi at all. I um, <laughs> perhaps I perhaps misleadingly mentioned Wi-Fi there as an example if a client was sitting in a coffee shop because so you're it's not just an easy access kind of thing. Yeah, you're you're not going to be able to get, or it's unlikely that you'd get a wired connection in a coffee shop. So I gave a yeah. bad example, but that potentially in any other scenario other than the coffee shop, then I would suggest that each user uses a, a wired Ethernet connection which is the, the cable that goes, the cord that goes from your internet router or router to your computer. Um, and if you don't have an ethernet socket on your computer, there are USB adapters so that you can adapt that to, to connect okay. in. in. In removing the vagaries of Wi-Fi, um, <laughs> you're giving yourself a, a much more of a chance of a solid connection without the risk of, let's say you're in one room and your Wi-Fi router is in another room, uh, then you you're, you're lessening the chances of establishing a, a good solid connection. Okay, so it's kind of like the wi you're able to use Wi-Fi if need be, but the best connection would always be a hardwired Ethernet. Table. Yeah, in, in summary, th that's correct. It will work on Wi-Fi or it can work on Wi-Fi, but it's also one of the most common causes of problems and instability. So whilst it can work, we strongly re uh, we strongly uh, don't uh, recommend it. We what's <laughs> what's the opposite of, of recommend? Whatever that is, we um, discourage that. <laughs> <laughs> strongly That's the discourage word. Thank it. You. We strong <laughs> thank you, thank you for helping me with my English language. <laughs> and we strongly discourage the use of Wi-Fi. Okay, um, so what I know this is um, you can do day passes, I believe, for IBDTL, or but there's also subscription options. I'm not sure. So, what are your different subscription options and the benefits, kind of, to each of those? Yeah, the idea is that the whole thing's very flexible. So if you if you only need to use IPDTL for a day, then buy a day pass for $15, and that gives you everything, all of the functionality, um, or most of the functionality that's possible in IPDTL, including video and several remote connections, and the ability to dial an ISDN and receive an ISDN and make a phone call is all possible in a day pass, and a day pass also allows you to connect between two locations um, using computers. 
Um, and that's all for just $15 for a day. What I would say there is buy one the day before and have a play around with it to make sure that you're familiar and run a test the day before so that you're not scrambling around at the last minute trying to make it work. Um, mm -hmm. So that's the most simple and cost effective way if you're only using IPDTL once in a blue moon. If you're going to use it more regularly and you're more serious about this kind of connectivity, then monthly and annual subscriptions or monthly or annual subscriptions would be the way to go. Um, but there are various layers within those. So within a monthly or annual subscription, you can have bronze, silver or gold, depending on uh, the, uh, the audio quality that's desired, whether or not you need video, and how many people you would like to connect to simultaneously. And then we have add-ons called Tel and Tel Plus. Uh, Tel will allow you to make a phone call and receive an ICN call. Tel Plus will also allow you to make an outgoing ICN call. Um, so there are all these different layers to really customize it to what you need. If you find that for one month you're doing lots of outbound ICN calls, so you need the Tel Plus feature, you can add it for that month and then you can remove it the next month. So uh, upgrading and downgrading are all nice and easy uh, and, and it makes the whole thing very flexible. And if, you then, if you're going on vacation for a long vacation for three months or you're, um, you, for whatever reason you're not working for three months, um, you can completely cancel your subscription for that period and just pick it up again when you need it. Okay, well, that's very cool. Um, so as the IPDTL source, um, how rapidly do you think that this is growing and do you see changes in its future? Well, I was looking at a graph today, actually. We have um, sales statistics and usage statistics that, that we check regularly, and I was looking at those today, and all of the graphs go upward in that, in that nice direction uh, that, any, mm -hmm. that, that you'd like to see any sales graph. Um, so so the, that's, you know, that's a nice positive from our side, and it means that uh, it gives us the confidence to continue investing in the service and growing the service. Uh, so... Hopefully that will continue for um, th for a long time to come, um, and I hope that answers your question. We, we we keep seeing more and more users coming on board each day and each week and each month. Yeah, and did you see any changes in its future or anything in the works for the future? <laughs> Eventually, we, I mean, we know that ISDN will one day completely uh, stop being a, a service. Right now, it's taking a long time to get to that stage, um, and it's going to be around for a good few years yet. So, yeah, one day we won't do the ISDN connectivity anymore because it won't be necessary. Um, but as, for instance, the uh, the SIP protocol, which is in, in some ways the modern alternative to ISDN, um, SIP is a, a standard for uh, real-time connectivity between computers and between digital devices, um, then we will, th I, I think we'll see more compatibility with s devices from manufacturers such as Comrex and Tyline and, and Telos who make hardware which is uh, compatible with that protocol and therefore compatible with, uh, with our service. We're all about interoperability, which is why we, we can connect with all these different um, technologies now, all these different manufacturers, and we, we see ourselves going forward as, as continuing to be that bridge, if you like, between um, various other manufacturers' products. Wonderful. Okay. Um, and here's just a, a personal question for you. Um, when you had created IPDTL, did you expect it to turn into what it is today? I had no idea. Um, I hoped that it would, and I believed and still believe strongly in the concept. Um, so I suppose it was always a bit of a dream. Um, I never imagined that the voice talent community would be uh, would grow to be uh, our biggest client our biggest client area um our, our biggest market whereas uh, i mean we do have many radio stations and broadcasters and podcasters using ipdtl uh, the mm -hmm. main driving source behind the product has been the the voice talent community and continues to be so um, and we're very grateful for that and um, in return for that, we continue to support and sponsor voiceover conferences, such as we were uh, one of the platinum sponsors at the VO Atlanta conference in, in uh, Atlanta back in, um, in March this year. 
Very cool. Well, um, do you have anything that we haven't touched on uh, that you think would be important for our voice talent to know? I don't know if I there's anything. we've covered everything, really. Um, all I would say to anybody who wants to go and try IBDTL is do so. Have a play with it. Be in, be um, in inquisitive and be curious and uh, play around with it. See what it can do for you. Uh, so that when it comes to actually needing to use it professionally, it's n you're not daunted because new technology can be daunting, and uh, the best way to avoid that and work around that is to is to spend time familiarising yourself before you need to use it in anger, uh, as it were. <laughs> uh, get a demo account, play around with it, connect with fellow voice talents, and and get yourselves uh, as as members on our IPDTL users group on Facebook so that you can connect with other IPDTL users both in the voice talent and the wider industry so th so that uh, you're you're able to be uh, an expert in the field because um, in being so then you, you'll be putting yourself I in a good position to um, to be able to help other users use it and to be able to help your clients use it which uh, should hopefully make everybody's lives easier in the long term thank you that is great advice um, and then in getting IPDTL, they would just go to IPDTL.com and make sure you have your Google Chrome br uh, browser correct and then exactly. download it from there. Or get the Most of the answers, there. well, all of the answers hopefully are on that website. If they're not, then you can, you can ask us through that Facebook group, ask other users through the Facebook group, or raise a support ticket with us, and we'll okay. always help. But to be honest, if you do do some digging around on that website, it should answer most of your questions. And yes. all of the answers is to, in terms of what subscription levels cost, what uh, are all there on that homepage. Yes, I will say I was very appreciative of your website. <laughs> I went in and I could <laughs> read it all and kind of, you know, get a good, firm idea. So um, Excellent. that is great. Well, yeah, I'm thank you so it. much for talking with me today. And this is a lot of great information that we get to share with our talent. And I think it's going to be very beneficial for us and for them in the future. So really appreciate you doing it's, this for us. It's been my pleasure. And I suppose uh, the, the one other thing to say is that this interview has been conducted using IPDTL. You are yes, hearing me uh, trans <laughs> transatlantically um, from Manchester in the United Kingdom uh, across to your location in, in the United States. Um, and we're having this real-time conversation in glorious broadcast quality. Um, so yeah. if there was ever an example of it, of it working, you're listening to it now. Yes, and we had no issues. It was wonderful. <laughs> I would say it's, I have enjoyed uh, using it, so... <laughs> Well, it's my, it's my pleasure to talk to you, and, and thanks for uh, the opportunity to, to uh, be interviewed today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much.